In this tutorial, we look at changing the appearance of our menus. And by default, our menus are actually pretty vanilla. It's got whatever text it type is. It has looks like come some kind of Times New Roman and blue for links and no background color. So uh, let's also look at this. In our source for this, our menu only has these particular properties. So we've set the static display levels to 2 to get the different levels, but not much going on here. So to format these, there's a whole bunch of things we could put in here. But the easiest way that I find to get this started is to come to your menu, talk to Rob, and then go to Auto Format. And now what I'm going to do is set, well, we can go through and see what the different auto formatting schemes are. And we could choose one of these if it matched up with our particular color scheme. But if I want to match this to a client's color scheme, what I'm going to do to make this match is just choose any one of these. doesn't matter which one. I'll say OK. And now if we look at this, well, gosh, you know, it's done a bunch of things here for me. You can see already it's changed the typeface to something without serifs, and it's changed some colors. And if we run this, we can see, see the different colors that are being used. So we're going to have a, um, what we call the static state. Get it up here when the menu's in not selected, kind of which is sitting there. We can kind of see, well, this home one has this green background, and these guys have this light blue. But see, when we hover over it, it changes to a gray. This one changes to a gray. And now watch our text color changes from gray to white. When we pull out here on a, on a dynamic one that pulls out, that color changes. So there's a whole bunch of colors, a whole bunch of places we can change things. And this is why I say, let's just start with uh, one of the auto format colors. And then what I'm going to do is I want to change these two specific colors f to match my client's color scheme. What I do is go to the source. And we can see here all this stuff got added in here. So we have all these different styles. There's a dynamic hover style, dynamic menu item style, dynamic menu style. So you can read through all these. And it's there's a bunch. There, what is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different styles. Each have their own different color. So what I usually do is say, okay, let's pick one of these. And I'm going to choose this static hover style. I'm not sure which one this is, but I'm going to change it to black. I just use black because it makes it real easy to see. And now when I run my page, I can see one of those colors is going to turn black. So I can see, oh yeah, when I mouse over it, that's when it's black. So I want that to be a different color again to match my user's color scheme. Well, now I know if I come back here, I can change where that was black. Let's say it was some shade of blue. So I'm just going to put blue in here. We can change that. And then here's that's the background color. There's also the foreground color. And we can set both of those again. But what I do is just change one at a time. Change it to black. Go find out where it is when we're actually using the menu. And then change it to the color that you want it to be. So for formatting the appearance of menus, Oh, sorry, let's just go test this out, too, just to show you. So when we run it, now when I hover over it, you can see it's turned to blue. So again, I can customize those, make them look whatever way I want them to look. And the trick for that, again, is to start out by going to the design view, talking to Rob, going to auto format, and choose any one of these. That, then go to your source, and you can see all the different styles that are in here. The dynamic hover style, dynamic menu item style, blah, 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 blah. But we will just change one at a time, change the background color, foreground color to black, test it out, find where it is, and then change that to match the color that you really want it to be.